Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to be doing a partial harvest on these gorgeous Georgia pies growing in the Aircube Ebb and Flow Grow System. We'll also be transplanting our blue radicals into their final pots for the Add Light Comparison Grow. And we'll take a peek at the Pineapple Runts Autoflowers. All right, guys, so first off, uh, let's harvest the tops off of these Georgia pies. All right, here we are in the Myers Hydro 5x5 new upgraded tent. It's my first grow in this 5x5, and uh, it seems to be doing what tents do. Very nice. Uh, also has one of the best reflective mylar materials out there right now, so that's a bonus. We get all that reflective light from the sides and uh, we can add that to our power values and uh, help the plants grow even bigger. So here we have the Georgia pine. Let me step back here, try to get it all in one shot. Look at that, beauty. So these four plants are filling out this whole tent. And as mentioned earlier, these are being grown in the air cube ebb and flow grow system. First time running this system. Uh, not going to be my last either. I really, really like this system. Uh, it's been working so well, so easy, and the plants just love it. It really cuts back any type of time that you have to spend in here. Not that I mind spending time with my plants, but uh, when you got a few tents going, sometimes it's nice to kind of just let it go on its own and just check in once in a while. Uh, refill the res once a week and pretty much let, let it go. Uh, so yeah i really enjoy this system um let's take a look here a little bit closer at some of these buds now i do have the light up a little bit high as you can see uh, we got some talking going on here i've lowered the light intensity uh but i don't know they're still not liking it too much at least this plant and this one that one back there is not too bad at all and this one is not too bothered by it although this one has other issues but uh, let's take a look here. Look at these frosty buds. Now, I showed close-up pictures of the trichomes last week. And the very top was done last week. Could have been harvested last week. Now, when I say the top, I mean the, the top. Uh, once we got further down, they weren't quite finished yet. And, of course, down there, they're not finished yet either so what we're going to do this week now that we've let it go another week uh we can harvest down to a boat here and everything will be mature down to around that point right there so that's what we're going to do we're going to chop down all these tops all these big ones uh we're going to be taking these off hanging them getting them dried and then we'll leave the bottom buds all this stuff down here uh, we're going to leave that all to uh, finish up. There's lots there, and they're just begging for just a little bit of light to help uh, help them mature up a little bit, and then they'll be ready to come down, I'm assuming, next week. If not, I, I may even let it go another week. We'll see how they look at that point. I'm really anxious to get some of these tops down. I mean, these things are they're good size buds, nice thick buds, and really dense and also one thing to note is these stems i i could break that with my fingers but i have to come on to that pretty hard just to even get it to go like this like those stems are completely solid and and they're all like that even even the plants back here like they're they're come they're really really hard these ones aren't as thick but still, really, really solid branches on there. I was wondering if I should have actually put a scrog net on here since they're so tall. Uh, these are uh, from the bucket, three feet, and maybe lolly popped up about a foot or so. Um, yeah, but no, I definitely didn't need a scrog net on these at all because they are really, really nice stocks on those. So let's get at this uh, harvest here. I'm going to put you guys on the tripod. Uh, I'll speed it up a bit, and then I'll come back when we're done. We'll take a look at what we've harvested and what we have left.
All right, so there we have it. We have them all cut off. I took a lot off of this, and look at what we have still left. Look at all this bud. And these aren't small little tiny popcorn buds either. These are still, look in there, just loaded. Like, I would be happy if these were my plants, much less what I just took off. And what I just took off, I would have been happy if that was just the plants. Uh, but, yeah, uh, th this system, this system, this Mars Hydro FC6500 Smart Light, everything in here, the oscillating, new oscillating fan, everything is just working perfectly. It makes a fantastic environment. And this grow really shows it. Like I'm actually, I'm actually quite impressed with how much is left because when the tops were on there, it was kind of hard to see. I knew there was lots, but I don't know, man. This is still a lot, a lot of cannabis still left on these girls. So we'll definitely give them another week. We'll give them two weeks if we need to, uh, just so they finish up. You can see some of the ones like this one had access to some light. I mean, it obviously wasn't prime power, but I mean, that's, that's still a solid, not a bad nug at all. Now you look at this one here, you can see like the green kind of soft a little bit. Those that probably never had any light at all. So definitely we've got a bunch of both there and uh, yeah, we'll give her as much time as they need for sure. So that's what we have left. Let me step back here, try to get it all in. So we can get more of an idea here. So we've got them lollipopped up about a foot. And we still have all this left. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, let's take a look at what we got harvested so far. Here we are. I thought actually I would get them in one line. But I had to get two lines up here. These buds guys, these are not little larifey popcorn buds these are really solid ass buds and you know pretty pretty thick too so definitely happy with that uh, i have no idea what the weight of that would be wet but there's there is quite a bit of weight there for sure all right guys so like i said we're gonna let this go for another week or two uh, by the looks of some of them uh, it may be even closer to two weeks and you never know, maybe we'll come back in a week and take off uh, a few more. Some of the ones that are just about finished now, the ones that have had access to the light and leave the other stuff for maybe even another week. I don't know. We'll see what happens next week. All right, so let's get out there. Uh, we're going to get that add light comparison grow ready. So we have the blue radicals that we need to transplant into their five gallon pot so that we can get that grow going. Let's go get at it. All right, so here we have the two and a half by five tent that we'll be doing our comparison grow using the Mars Hydro Ad Light Supplemental Lights. We have deep red, we have ultraviolet, and we have infrared. So we have on this side, we have, we have the lights set up here. We have three on this side, one of each, and the same on the other. So this side will be getting the supplemental lights. They'll be all on their own timer and they'll be set for whatever Mars Hydro recommends, which I'll put a chart up here right now as to the recommended times of each one. As well, of course, uh, the main light, which is half of the Mars Hydro SP6500. Now, as that comes through the middle partition here, uh, we have the other half of the SP6500, and that's all this side will get. So these are clones. They'll be fed the same. They'll be getting transplanted today and put one on either side, and we'll get this grow going. Now, we won't be turning any of the supplemental lights on right now because, according to the charts, uh, we don't want to start the UV until the veg stage. So we're going to give them... Uh, probably a week or so just to get some roots going in their final pots and then we'll start using that UV light I got my power bar in the other day uh, So I have I have these two timers one for the UV one for the infrared and then over there will be the main light and the deep red uh, Which we will start during flower 
and the deep red will run as long as the main lights on the deep red will be on as well so that's why you can use the same timer there and of course we have Mars Hydro's exhaust fan here and a couple of fans one on either side so it should be pretty decent it should be a pretty pretty good comparison I would think uh, I will be using the Mars Hydro drip system now I don't have that set up right at this moment but it'll be set up for next week uh, I kind of like to water by hand when I first transplant just so I know where the water is going so uh, I'm gonna grab these clones and we're gonna get them into their five gallon pots let's get her done all right so here we have the first one and uh, she will be put into this pot okay so we have a decent amount of roots on there starting to wrap the cup so there we are so this is just pro mix hp mixed with a little bit of harvest hero enhanced perlite that will add some silica to the grow media and that will help keep the plants nice and strong so here's the first one let's go pop it in the tent and we'll do the other one and plant number two let's check out her roots now let's see what kind of roots this one has eh, about the same so just starting to wrap around the bottom there so go ahead place that in the pot tap it around and once I water these I may have to top up the rest of the uh, I like to keep my grow bags pretty full if you got a five gallon bag you might as well use five gallons of soil so there we go I'm gonna take this leaf off the bottom here just because it's so close to the ground don't really need it there and there we have it let's put it back in the tent and take a quick look at them all right there we are we have them both they both look pretty much identical which is good and uh, yeah we're off to the races uh, I'm gonna give these a watering today that soil was just a slightly damp but not quite wet enough so I'll have to give it a quick water and then if need be I'll top up the uh, the grow bags with a little extra pro mix HP so there we have the Mars Hydro Add light supplemental grow started even though the lights aren't on this is the beginning of the process so so let's pop over to the next tent and uh, we'll check out on the pineapple runts okay guys so here we have our four by four uh, we are running the Mars Hydro FC 4800 Evo light in here this will be the second time I'm running this light I know it worked out really good last time and I have high expectations for this time as well uh, also running for the first time the Mars Hydro iFresh inline fan for air exchange this is run through the Mars Hydro app on my phone as well as the light here so I have no timers in this tent at all it's all done by the app on the phone which is pretty cool and here are the pineapple runts from ethos genetics now I have to say I'm not super happy with all of these um, let's take a closer look here. We have the one in the front. This is the best one by far uh, Stacked up pretty decent and I think overall I think we should get a decent amount of cannabis out of here We've done some LST. We've done some defoliation just to open it up a bit and uh, Pretty decent canopy on it with lots of bud sites. So I, I think this one's gonna be okay now Let's check out this one here let's pull this one over now this one is pretty close to the same phenotype I would say and stacked again stacked not too bad and they still have another week or so to stretch I believe but it's quite a bit smaller as you can see but overall healthy enough definitely not as nice as that one there now let's get to the troublesome one all right so this this one here, uh, as far as coverage, it's probably the, the biggest canopy, the widest canopy. But I've had such a hard time with this. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter what I do. She likes to droop. She's discolored. And I mean, her stacking is not horrible. It's not horrible at all. But she's just very kind of sickly looking. 
and uh, I've tried watering it more or less, feeding it more or less, but nothing seemed to matter uh, one way or the other. So now she's getting fed the same as everything else, which is general hydroponic maxi bloom. But like I said, you can tell she's she's got some issues she needs to work on. And uh, maybe I've had plants like this before. And then once they get a little further into flower, they bounce back and they produce really well. So let's just hope that happens with this one too. But overall, I, I like that one. I like that one quite a bit. These two, especially this one. Um, yeah, I'm not super happy with those ones, but uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to grow them out. They still have probably about five weeks or so. So they got quite a long ways to go and it might surprise us. Okay, that's it for this one, guys. Really happy with the Georgia Pies, how they're turning out. And we'll see next week how these little ones bulk up. I'm really surprised at how much is left on these plants. So we'll come back next week and see if they're ready to come down. Like I mentioned earlier, everything in this tent is working so well together. The air cube system and the Mars Hydro's lights, tents, exhaust, everything is working great. If anybody's interested in any of Mars Hydro's products, feel free to check out the link down below. There's also some Amazon links as well. And if you buy through their direct website, you can use the code BWARD and save yourself a little bit at checkout. Also, the AirCube system. I will have a link to growace.com. And if you use my code, which has been changed to BWARD, I'll have it down in the description as well. You'll save yourself 5% on any of the AirCube Ebb and Flow Grow systems. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.